So you decided you wanted to start winning in Web3, and you are now on step number three. So let's, over, let's do an overview of those steps again. So step one in winning in Web3, you must first start playing DeFi Kingdoms. Second, you must build your Legion. Then third, and what brings you here is you need to get a bot to help command your legion. And then the final step, you need to claim your legacy. So with that said, this video is going to be about how to set up your heroes in sheets on DFK Helper. And also how to clean up your sheets on DFK Helper after you made a big old mess of them, which I do on a regular basis. And since I do it so much, I figured let's make a video and share with everybody on how this all works. So I hope you like the video and let's get into it. So you're either new to DFK Helper or you've been playing for a long time like myself and you done messed up your sheets and you got to fix them. So reasons how you mess up your sheets, and I do this quite a bit, you'll go through and you'll move a whole lot of heroes from one wallet to another wallet. So instead of moving each one individually on the wallet, you can go through and just redo your sheets. So in this video, I'm gonna cover how to do that. So if you're new to DFK Helper, the first portion is gonna be about removing everything. Now, I would recommend watching the video all the way through just so you can see the different things in the future you might be doing. And a little warning, I am going to be covering how to do this as if you've never used Google Sheets or Excel ever before and you have no clue how any of it works. So a lot of us, we've been using Sheets and Excel for a long time, so a lot of the functions and commands that I do, you're going to know how to do it. But just for those that might not know how to do it, I want to include that in the explanation. So, to get started, this is what your sheets probably look like, and you don't have all your heroes that need to be in here, or you have a bunch of heroes in here that don't need to be in here. So, I'm going to show you how to delete all these out of here. So, you have two options if you have no gaps in here. So, I'm going to make some gaps in here just, just to show you what the difference is going to be. So if you click and highlight these top two, you hit control shift down, that'll highlight them all and you can just backspace and that'll clear them all out. So now you gotta go all the way back up to the top again. So now if you do that over here, it won't work the same. Do not do that with these here because that's gonna, you're gonna lose functions. But see, so you can go all, Click all the way across, control shift down, see how it's went all the way down to Nonsenseville. That doesn't always work and causes errors sometimes. So if you get control up, control up, oh, that brought me to that space. And that'll get you all the way to the top. So you can also just highlight these, control shift down and see how it's only gonna go to this. So it's how you can get around this is you can just go all the way over here, highlight all those, and then just drag it all the way down by holding the left button until you're at the end of the sheet. Now it's all highlighted and just hit backspace and it'll get rid of it all. Now you go all the way back up to the top. And if you happen to have anything like this in here, you can highlight all the way down and then backspace and I'll clear them all out. 
you can just click or if you got a whole bunch in there you can just pick one that's empty wait for a little plus sign and then drag all that way all the way down problem is if you just go here backspace it it removes your function in here and you no longer have that button so if you accidentally do that you can always just highlight the ones above it and just drag it down with the plus button but that's clears it all out so scroll down make sure you cleared everything out everything looks good all cleared out now we need to add all of our heroes back in so to do that you're going to want to go over to the castle you want to go over to the archivist view apps and tools and now if you've been playing this for a while you should already have this link so dfk helper you're going to, want to do all the fancy reading in here you're going to, want to read the disclaimer also but then you're going to, want to hit continue to app And then you just wait for it to load and this should come up. Now I've noticed sometimes I get a 404 error. You just hit refresh and it'll come back up. So it's what you're gonna wanna do here is you're gonna want your wallet address to show up. You're gonna wanna make sure you log in. And then I usually push this over. Now to log in, just click this and it's gonna give you a step-by-step -step process to go through. You're gonna have to connect your discord and you're going to have to connect your wallet after that is done it should have your right wallet address here your right discord name here and then from there if you go over to heroes after logging in and the reason i'm not showing you login process because it shows my email address and everything on there and I love y'all, but I really don't want you having that information. And it might show it up in here again somewhere else where I click on it. We'll find out, but hopefully not. I don't care if you have my Discord name. <laughs> so there's all my wallet address. There's all my heroes. So oh, looks like I need to add the rest of my wallets in. I don't have them all added in there. That's kind of weird. So then you're going to want to go over here to where it says export. You want to click that, and then you're going to want to download as CSV file. And then that's going to come up here into this little thing here. If you just click it, that'll open up everything you need. So now there is a whole lot of stuff in here. And I actually like that because I do other things with this export as well. But let's cover what we need. So. This is the hero IDs. So if you click this A up here, all the way at the top, you want to click A because that number makes no sense. So you're going to want to go up here where it says general. You want to switch that to where it says number. And you're not done yet. See how it's got the zero, zero on there? So if you go up to the same box where it has that, you're going to want to click the decreased decimal. Two clicks should get it out of there. So now it's just straight numbers. So then you have the owner. This is gonna be the name that you have attached to that wallet. Then you have your wallet. You have your hero name, rarity equipment, so on and so forth. So we don't need the hero name, rarity. Oops. So you're gonna to to come up here to the very top where it says name. You're gonna hold down the left button and just keep dragging over all the way over till you get to the realm. Oop, there's realm. So you want to make sure you leave realm in there. And then you can just come up here, right click, and then delete, and it'll get rid of all those. So now you just have your ID number, owner, wallet, realm. And then you're going to want to come back up here. Same thing, click on that, hold it. And then you're going to want to go all the way over to their professions. Whoa, went too far. So there's their professions. So you're going to want to do the same thing. You're going to want to get rid of all that other stuff. Delete. Now you have the hero ID, owner, wallet, realm, professions. So that's all you're going to need. So you can actually get rid of the rest of this. And like I said, there is a whole lot of good stuff in here. 
and then you're going to want to just delete all that. So now it's going to come back over here to where this is all you have. It's all the good stuff. That's all you're going to need for right now. But now we need to get this. We need to add some filters in here. So you go over here to the one. Click on the one. Then you can go over here to where you got the AZ with the filter sign. It's going to say sort and filter. Click on that. And then you're going to want to click filter. Is what that's going to do is that's going to add all the filters in on this top line. So hero ID, we don't need to filter that. But owner, we need to filter the owner. So you go in here, click on owner, or click on that little down arrow. Right here where it's got the little down arrow, that's going to open this up. So you want to hit select all, and that's actually going to deselect them all. So I only care about wallet number five. Click on the Xan number five, hit OK. So now everything in here is going to be wallet number five. Now we're going to want to come over here to where it says realms. Click on that. And we're going to want to deselect them all. So we're only going to want all the ones on DFK realm. Hit OK. And DFK is going to be your crystal veil. So now we got everything we need to set up all of our heroes on crystal veil. So click on the very top hero, control shift down, and that's going to highlight them all. And then just right click anywhere in that column, hit copy. And then you can go over here and then you can add them in. So control shift V and that'll add them all in. So now you need to add their realm. So these are all going to be on Crystal Veil. Because remember it said DFK realm. So just get the little plus sign. Drag that all the way down to the bottom to where your last hero is. And it's going to just keep going and going and going. I got a lot of heroes in here. Not really, but we're going to act like we have a lot in here. So there you go. So now it's all Crystal Veil. So if you hit Control Up. Oh, that should bring you back up to the top. Why didn't that bring me back up to the top? Control up. Huh. That's weird. What if I do it over here? Control up. No. Why does that not send me to the top? Oh, the command functions ain't working. I done broke it. So go up here to two. So now you're going to want to get your professions in there. So you're going to want to go back over to your Excel sheet. And you have your professions. Click on the very top one, which is mining. Control shift down. It's going to highlight them all. Click on right click on the box and you're going to hit copy. So then you're going to want to go back over here. Professions. Control shift V. That'll add them all in there. And then the quests they're assigned to. Control shift V. And they're all going to be added in there. Now, some of these you might want to switch over to different professions and from what their actual profession is. That's a little more advanced. You can go through there and do a lot of that. Now, we're going to want to go all the way to the bottom because now we need to get every all the heroes that are on Clayton in here. So, click after your very last one. So, now we need to go back over to our Excel sheet. And you're going to want to go back over to Realm, use the filter, take DFK off, add Clayton in. So now this is going to be all the ones on Clayton. So same thing, click on the top one, Control Shift down, that's going to highlight them all. So it's going to be the same process over here. Put the hero, Control Shift down, that added them all. So now you're going to want to switch this to all on Serendale. So you got Serendale on there. You're going to want to get your little X mark. Now you're going to want to make sure it's the X mark and not the little hand. The little hand will mess things all up. I wanted to show you what the little hand looked like. I can't get a little hand. Give me a little hand. Sure, now that I want it to do it, it ain't going to do it. But anyways, if a little hand comes up, you want to make sure you don't use that. So you're just going to want to hold drag that all the way down now you're going to want to get your professions in here so go back over to your excel sheet same thing you can also just copy drag all the way down and that'll highlight them all copy go back over here control shift v that'll add them all in there control shift v add them all in there again 
So one is your profession and the other one's the profession you want to assign it to. So two totally different functions, but they should be the same unless you're doing some weird stuff. And by weird stuff, I mean like 90% of what I do is weird shit. So, and there you have it. That's how you add everything in there, but you're not done yet. Now you need to figure out your leveling situation. So how do you want these to level? Do you want it set to true? That's just going to auto level them all based on what you have. You can either input your stats that you want to do here. If you want to fine tune it, you can do that or you can go over to your advanced. So go over here, pick your advanced one. Did I pass it? I must have passed it. Advanced, advanced five. So that's gonna come up here and that's gonna be these up here. I have it set, set to level to the top three growth stats. You have all these different options in here. That's gonna be something you're gonna to wanna to look at and get into. If you have questions on that and you want to know which style is going to best fit yours, go ahead and reach out to them. Talk to your fellow buddies in your guild or go over to the DFK Helper Discord and they can help you out in there also. So let's go back to wallet number five. So you have that. You have false. That's going to not level anything. You have warn. That's going to warn you when it's time to level. And that way you can go in and do your manual levels. You have warn at stop. So if you put over here, you want it to warn you when it gets, when it's level 10 and you want to get it to do the next thing. So that's going to send a notification to your telegram every time it runs through and wants to do levels. So you have stop at stop. And if you do 10, that's going to level you all the way up to level 10, and then it's going to just stop. It's not going to send you all those annoying warnings. So since this is a summoning one, I just set them all to false because I don't want it doing any leveling at this time. So I just hit false, get that little plus sign, run it all the way down, and that's just going to set them all to false. So there you have it. To get started with DFK Helper, that is everything that you're going to need to get it to work properly. Now, they do also have the feature to where you don't have to add anything in here. If you're not interested in setting any stuff, for me, I need all this in here due to it's a mass summoning wallet. But you also have in here, if you go to your advanced settings, and if you scroll all the way to the down to the bottom of this, oh, I don't remember exactly where it is. You can set to auto level, enable section to auto level heroes not on the sheet nor set otherwise. So if you don't want to add any of them to your sheet, you can get it to just do that. I'm surprised that's clicked. But let's unclick that because I don't want it to auto level unless they're on the sheet. So that's how you do that. And that will get everything all set up. So let's go back over here to wallet number five. So that's how it should look at look like when you're done. So if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave something down below in the comment section. Or you can also reach me on Twitter slash X slash whatever the heck they're going to call it next week or in Discord. I will leave the links to both of those in the description as well. So. Thanks for bearing with me. I hope this was a big help to you. And until next time, you have a wonderful day. And don't forget to have fun.